Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. In a recent Dollar Tree peek, I showed you this. Today, we're going to craft it. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. And I also want to take a moment to thank everyone who leaves positive, courteous, and respectful comments. Those are appreciated as well. Some of you might have seen this in a very recent Dollar Tree sneak peek short video that I shared with you. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked in the description box below. But this is a little mini chalkboard that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then it has these little frames or tags. I'm not really sure what you call them. I just know how we're going to use them in today's video. We're going to take one of these and turn it into a message board. Now this message board can be mounted to the wall if you want or you can attach magnets to the back and place it on the refrigerator. And that's exactly what I think that I'll do. I think I'll take this and place it on the refrigerator. But like I said, you can hang something on the back and you can mount this to the wall or you can use some of those 3M picture hangers and mount this to the wall. It's completely up to you. And I'll give you a closer look at this in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So this is what we're going to be working with today. It's cute just as it is. I'm sure you can probably take some little cuties and add it to this and make it more than it is in its natural state. But we're going to disassemble it and use it on our message board. So I took this part, we place it here, and then I took one of these, just one, and I have two left over. I can use those on other projects and I placed it here. Then I used a rub on to add a message. So this is going to be so, so simple. And the size of this when finished is 10 by 11. So to make our message board, we'll need this component from that Dollar Tree chalkboard set. I have a 100 sheet four by eight notepad. We'll need a back liner piece that is cut at nine and three quarters by 10 and three quarters. I have a piece of beautiful 12 by 12 text weight paper. This is what I'm going to be using to cover my board. This will be the front. And then I have two pieces of chipboard that are cut at 10 by 11. And then I have this selection of rub-ons from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to decide which one I want to use on this project. And I think I'm going to use something from this set. And for those of you who are interested, I will have kits available of this project and I will have them available in all rub-on patterns. So whichever one you choose, you'll get the whole sheet of rub-ons to go with your project. So to get started, I have added double stick tape to the back of my chipboard because I want to take these two pieces of medium weight chipboard and I want to join them together. Now if you decide to purchase the kit, your chipboard will already be cut at 10 by 11. So I'm just going to take these two and I'm going to stand them up, matching them won't be perfect, but I'll try to get it as closely matched as I can by just bringing the two together like this. And this gives me a nice hard board. So if I do want to mount this to the wall, this is pretty solid. If you have heavyweight chipboard, then you don't need to join two pieces together. If you don't have chipboard at all and you want to join some cereal boxes or shoe boxes, I would probably triple stack those to get this thickness. So now we need to go ahead and add some tape to cover the chipboard. And I'm going to cover the whole thing in tape. So for those of you who are just dropping by my channel to see what it's all about and you haven't yet decided to subscribe, I would love to have you go ahead and join the channel because we do amazing projects. This is just one of the many, many wonderful projects that you'll find on my channel. So I'd love it if you would go ahead and subscribe 
Make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a new video. For those of you who are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Go ahead and hit that like button because you won't be disappointed in this video. So I'm going to peel away my tape strips. Then I'm going to bring in my piece that measures 12 by 12. This is just a scrapbook weight paper. And we're going to take our chipboard and place it down like this. I'm going to go ahead and just remove a little bit from this end because we don't need all of it. Now I'll go to the front, get that nice and smooth, and we will just take this and fold over on all four sides. Now I'm just going to miter my edges and because I have it double stacked, I'm going to leave a little bit more space in the corner than I normally would because I'm now asking these corners to fold over two layers versus one. But if you find that you have cut too close, just go ahead and take a piece that you just cut off and glue or tape it down and that way when you fold over you don't have to worry about any of that chipboard showing. So now I'm going to take my tape runner and I'll use my tape runner on this part because these ends will be sandwiched in between my back liner piece and the chipboard. So now I'm just going to take this, stand up and fold over on all four sides. Take my big old spatula and just make sure that I have everything nice and stuck. Then I'm just going to stand it and tap each corner like this just to make sure I don't have any pointies showing. And y'all, isn't that beautiful? doesn't even have anything on it and it's absolutely beautiful. This paper is gorgeous. So I'm going to flip over and we're going to place down our liner piece. All right, so we're going to take that liner piece that measures nine and three quarters by 10 and three quarters and it will go on the back. So we're going to go ahead and just take some tape and I'm going to cover the chipboard and then I'll add tape around the four edges of my liner piece and then we'll join everything together. So I'm just going to go ahead and place down some tape covering the chipboard that's showing and I will be right back. All right y'all, so I have removed the backer sheets from the chipboard and I also placed tape around the four edges of my liner piece so that I can place this down. And we're going to place it down like this. And I'll go ahead and get that nice and stuck all the way around. So now we have the back side covered. I'm going to turn it over. We're going to grab this piece and all I'm going to do is just pull away because these staples come out pretty easily. So I'm just going to pull this one and this one and now I can pop the staples. So I am just going to pick the one and so we'll take that one, we'll take this piece and turn it. Then I'm going to take my notepad and just decide where I want it. I think we're going to put it like that. So then I have some scrap paper and we're going to make this a refillable station. So I really only want the black showing. So just take a piece of black or whatever color you're working with
and I'm just going to fold it over like that because I want it to be very strong and sturdy. Then I'm going to take my glue and we're just going to put our glue on the inside like this and then I'll fold that over and we're going to place our glue right here and I'll fold that over. Then I'm just going to make sure that I have that glue nicely spread out. And now when I have my pieces pretty much where I want them, I am going to take this piece and place it in the back like this and fold it around and fold this around so that I know my replacement pad can slide in and out. So now I'm just going to take my glue going to place my glue on that piece and then I'll place some glue on that piece. We're going to fold over until the two pieces meet. I am not gluing this band to this. I am just gluing the band to itself. So let's go ahead and get that stuck. Now when we place this down we'll be able to replace our notepad with another notepad once we've run through all of this. So once you have it placed the way that you want, you can go ahead and put it down with glue. So I'm just going to take some glue, place some glue on my little chalkboard here, and we're going to take that chalkboard and just place it right there. I'm going to grab just a couple of my clips because I need to hold that in place. So now I'm going to take this piece and I've already decided that I want to use this particular rub on set. So I'm going to grab my scissors and let's see, I'm thinking I might want to put home so whenever I use a rub-on set, I just cut straight through the plastic because that helps me to keep everything else protected. Y'all, the more I looked at it, the more I thought I want to put welcome because if I have anyone visiting my home and they happen to be in my kitchen and they see this on the refrigerator, I want them to know that they're welcome. So I am just going to take my big old spatula and just rub that in and you just rub then I'll lift away a little bit to see if my word is on there and it is how cute then I'm going to take that backer sheet and just burnish that and so now I can place that right there and I'm going to place it right there because I'm going to add a little loop in between so that you can place a piece of chalk or a pen whatever you want to put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just take my glue, add some glue. We'll take this piece, I almost put it on upside down. We'll take this piece and we're going to put it right there and I need to look at it to make sure that I have it straight for me. Now I can take this and I am just going to bring it all the way to the top. I'm going to add my glue on this piece only. I'm not adding it on the notepad, I'm just adding it to the band. And now I can take this and we can put it wherever we want. So again, I want to look at this to see if it's straight. once I think I have it straight I'm just going to slide this out because now I need to make sure that that is nice and stuck. Last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
just a little piece of that scrap. I'm going to curl it. And I'm going to make this a pretty tight, tight loop. So I'm going to bend that backwards. I'm going to take my little Sharpie here because I wouldn't be using a piece of chalk or a pen that's any wider than the Sharpie. So now I'm just going to trim away a little bit here. I'll add some glue like this. Then we're going to take this piece and we're going to put it right here in the middle. And then I'll take my Sharpie, put it back in. And I'm just using the Sharpie as a guide, y'all. I'm not using it as the final writing tool that I'll use on this. You'll be able to slide in some chalk or you'll be able to slide in a pen. Completely up to you. But now that I have it, I am just going to trim off a little bit of that. Let's add some glue, put that Sharpie back in, and then we're going to take this, and this is where you squeeze it for tightness. But the good thing about placing your loop this way is your pen or chalk or whatever is going to be going sideways, so you're not really going to have to worry about it falling out. So even if it's a little bit loose, it's still going to be able to hold that pen or that chalk. So I'm going to take my notepad and now I can slide it in. Let me take a second to clean up some of my mess. And so there we have it. Look at how cute this is. So this isn't the pen or the chalk that I would put in here, but you can place that here. If you wanted to have a place for pen and chalk, you can put one of those loops here or you can put one of the loops at the top. It really is up to you. Y'all take this idea and then tweak it to make it work for your workstation, your home, or wherever you might want to place a message board like this. But I think that these are just so stinking cute. And as I said earlier, I will have a limited number of kits available for these. You'll get everything you need to be able to make this minus the pin. So you'll be able to make your kit so that when you're finished, it looks like this. The only thing that will be different will be what you have placed here based on which one of these rub-on packs you choose. It'll be up to you. So I will have the link for these in the description box. Please make sure that you check it if you're interested. But y'all, I think that these are absolutely gorgeous and I hope that it has sparked some ideas in you on ways that you can use items like this as you come across them in your everyday shopping life. It doesn't have to be what I've used here. This might just kick off some ideas of things that you have in your stash or things that you've seen. But no matter what you choose to do and how you choose to do it, y'all have fun doing it. I hope that you have liked this video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.